Right, we're back in the loft. Right, this is the, the end section. Um, just before we go around the corner to the station, I'll just pan you up there. So that's the corner that leads around to the station. You can see I've um, ripped some of the track up there and I'll rip all of this track up here. So what I have is the new sheets of cork, which I have cut so it covers this whole area. And then we have points. And you can tell I've already been experimenting with these. And lots and lots and lots and lots of points. About 170 quid's worth in total. So there's three double slips and some long large radius points and there is a medium one in there as well because I think I'm going to struggle for space a little bit so the plan is to put all this together and um, kind of temporarily um, and make sure it all looks all right and get the track spacings correct so let's crack on and do that I've got most of the track down now um, this is not connected to anything as yet so I've just got to connect the ends um, and then we'll see what it's like running over it. Alright, so we're back and I've got most of this set up. Now, this may look something similar to what um, Mark at the Western Centurion channel has set up. And that is because I've pretty much copied it. Um, I thought it was a brilliant use of points and double slips so um, yeah I've just pretty much stolen that from him so thanks very much Mark for that so here is my little 143 lovely and smooth both directions. And we can go further as well. Um, I'm still sort of getting the hang of these double slips, like which way to move the little switch and everything. see what that does. So a pointless manoeuvre, obviously one track back to the same track, but obviously you can see from there it can actually get onto any of the tracks. So I could, for example, I could move mm, that one and then we can go straight forward onto that track if we wanted to. If I'm honest it's it's night and day compared to um, the old Hornby points. So, yeah, it's a lot of money, but it, I think it will save a lot of hassle. I'm going to keep experimenting with it um, and join up the rest of the tracks. And there's obviously four lines there. Um, I have put a little piece of track between most of the joins to spread the tracks out a little bit because if you don't, the tracks are quite close together. Um, probably not typical if you get what I mean so yeah hopefully that's fairly realistic um, and I'm gonna put drop wires all over this 
and try and make sure everything's all good connectivity. But yeah, let's see how far we get. A bit more track down now, just doing a little bit more testing. So now we want to go that way. Alright, that's going to be it for today. Alright, if you want to see the previous video, click the top link. If you would like to subscribe, go ahead and click the bottom link. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll be back soon with more videos.